We are going to go and review the Grabby Watercolor set. You might have seen this possibly over on TikTok Shop, which is actually where I did end up getting this from, and this was a sample product that was sent to me from both Grabby along with also TikTok in exchange for my honest opinion, so this was a complimentary sample. Now, I actually really do like this watercolor set. I think this is a great watercolor set to go and have when you are on the go, traveling, and it's really compact, and there's a lot of colors in this. There's a hundred in total, which is crazy for such a small, little, tiny palette. I also like the packaging of this as well, too. It comes in a metal tin, and you will see in a second that it is separated on both sides. Now, it does come with a swatch paper, which I think is so incredibly important for what you want to know what the colors look like before you put it onto a piece of paper. It also comes with three of these brushes, these brushes you put some water into, and they work amazing. So here's what the inner portion of the palette looks like. There's a piece of plastic that separates the two pieces. Definitely, if you do end up buying this, please keep this because you really don't want these colors all to mix. Here's a closer look. There are both metallic, fluorescent, and also normal colors, along with also ones that are pastel. So here are the brushes. These are comparable to pretty much any other brushes that you would go and fill with water and they work great. I have no complaints about them, so I'm priming this, priming the paint as well, and then I'm going to be starting my swatches. Something I realized when I started to go and get all of these different little blocks of watercolor wet is it does take a bit of priming to really get the color to start going. Maybe these are coated with something, I don't fully and totally know, but it does take a good amount of water to go and get everything activated. So the colors are pretty pigmented. I went and I put all of the different colors onto the paper just to get my entire swatch sheet done. So here's a just sped up of me putting down all of these colors. And what I seriously loved about this palette was just how many colors are here, along with also to how vibrant some of them are. Now there are fluorescent colors in this, and these look like you took a highlighter and just drew on paper with it. It's crazy. Also too, some of the other colors are very highly pigmented and really do go onto the paper extremely well. But it's time to go and test it out because the swatches don't always do it, of course. You wanna go and just see how it works, along with also see a painting that's completed. The paper that I did end up using prior, not the paper that I'm using now, was the grabby paper, and the quality of the grabby paper is actually very good. I do like it a lot, and the color did spread out very well on this. But I'm just using some cold pressed paper for this eye. It is not the grabby paper. I wish it was just to go and kind of test everything, but you work with what you have. So the color really does show up extremely well on paper. It blends very well, but a thing that I didn't like about this is you can see how sticky the watercolor would get if you let it sit for a little bit. So you have to go and at least water it down a good amount so you don't have too much pigment. And these are very highly pigmented, so if you don't water it down, it's going to be way too pigmented and you won't be able to go and stack the color. This will just be the only color that you'll really be able to go and get down unless you use a darker color. The brushes that came with this set do come to a very fine point, and you'll see that after I go and put down some eyelashes. So you can really go and see that right here. So my final take on this whole entire palette is that the colors spread very nicely with each other. They also blend very nicely as well. They're highly pigmented, which is great and something that I always look for in paint. I love that in this palette there's a hundred colors, which is great, but what I don't like is I don't like this metal clasp. If this metal clasp is fully extended, it keeps it up. What I also don't like is how sticky the paint can go and get but that is something that can happen pretty often with anything that is a solid watercolor paint. It's a pretty typical thing, so it's not a huge issue, but because of how much pigment is in these, it can just get very dark, and if you don't water it down enough, then you might mess up your painting. All in all, I give this palette an 8 out of 10, and it definitely hits all of the marks that I would want for a palette that I can go and travel with. It is travel size, it has a lot of colors, it has a lot of variety, and I really do like it along with the accessories that it comes with. If you would like to give this palette a look at or potentially purchase it, you can find a link in the description. I don't believe I receive a commission, but if I do, here's the disclosure that I might. Thank you all so much for watching, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.